Hi Cancer, welcome to your mid-September general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Cancer. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you, and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear these messages. Hi Cross Watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Cancer. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Cancer and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. Alright Cancer, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear and set the energy for you guys, so let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. and tune into the energy of Cancer. All right, Cancer, let's go ahead and see what is going on in your love life from now to the end of the month that Spirit wants to talk about, show you, explain to you. And this could be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anyone dealing with the Cancer. What is going on in your love life? Judgment. Okay. Wide open wake up call and life review. And look at that. It looks like, you know, specks of embers kind of flying up. I wonder if someone had to make a final call. I wonder if someone had to kind of just stand in their power to let someone know what they're no longer going to be tolerating, having, and if they want you, they know how what they to do next. I feel as if, Cancer, you're placing the ball in someone else's court to act on this. And if they're serious about you, they'll pick up the ball and know what to do with it. And I think this is going to be the deciding factor, Cancer, if you still want to have this around. The letter W is sticking out to me, as in Wyatt, Whitney, first, middle, last, initial may mean something to someone here. But yeah, someone's getting a big wake-up call. Someone's getting a big judgment call, maybe, passed about what to do in this connection here from now to the end of the month. <sighs> okay, tell me more. I feel like someone realizes or p is picking up on that they've annoyed you or pissed you off, Cancer, because they're seeing a different side to you they're not used to. But that's what happens when you kind of poke at a Cancer after a while. A different side comes out. Then we have thoughts. I've been in my head about you constantly. <sighs> yeah. So I do feel you've kind of iced someone out here, Cancer. And I do feel the last conversation you had with them, you exposed them or you called them out. You have left a lot for them to think about. And it's something they still are like, wow, yeah, I messed up or I shouldn't have done that. I do feel that by having the side of you, Cancer, or this new way you're going about it, that is a lot more powerful. That's a lot more stern I think is really showing them what you need and they haven't been meeting you halfway and I feel as if until they do so you're not going to break that silence it's kind of similar to Capricorn's reading but this feels like so much more powerful cancer like this person really is on the chopping block if they don't get it right but you know that thing that's really um Making them aware about you, Cancer, and the significance of you in their life is their constant thoughts about you. Since you haven't been around as much or you haven't been hitting them up, they can't stop thinking about you, Cancer. And I wonder if some of you guys are like telepathic with this person, or at least you guys kind of like when you're around each other, you finish each other's sentences. Or a song gets stuck in your head that they sing out loud later. 
you have that weird type of connection with this person. I wonder if they have strong water in their chart, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, rising sun or moon, um, that you guys kind of have that emotional psychic anchor with one another. Okay, let's get into the tarot because I want to know what is going to happen here. So yeah, justice in reverse. They did something that made you feel as if you're just kind of having to take some sort of severe route in either putting them on like a, what is that term? Putting them on some sort of hold. But I feel like cancer, there's something that they need to apologize for. And until they apologize, until they're accountable, until they really stop avoiding or hiding, you're not going to hear them out. You're not going to have anything really to do with them until they really show you that they want to change, that they really show you that they want to make things right with you. Something they did was not right to you, Cancer. Yeah, Ten of Swords crossing this. Gemini energy. I'm going to pull out all the cards and then we'll do a deep dive. <sighs> yeah. Wow. I'm seeing a situation where maybe someone started talking to their ex or going back to an ex or flirting with an ex for some of you guys. All right. So bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer Energy. Some of you could possibly be dealing with another Cancer or someone with strong Cancer in their chart. It doesn't have to be the case. Yeah, Cancer, I do feel this is the side they're used to. The very sweet, the very loving, patient, kind, always asks how they're feeling, how they're doing, if there's anything you can do to help or support them. And I think they kind of got too used to that, Cancer. I think they, with the amount of love you gave, I think they really didn't know how profound it was until it was gone. What happens when water freezes, it turns to ice. And there's something from this connection that made it feel like you went from this flowing uh, ebb of water, of healing energy to complete ice that has kind of shook them in a lot of ways. And I think, again, with this Queen of Cups energy, you definitely have landed and created an emotional, psychic, telepathic anchor with this person. They just can't seem to stop thinking about you, Cancer. They reminisce about you. They miss you a lot. And even if this has just been a few days or a couple of weeks, it's still something that has been very much bothering them. Their mood has been a lot more down. People have noticed they're not as happy. They're a lot more silent. They're a lot more distant. And I think it's because of what has happened between the two of you. So let's get into it. Justice in reverse. Yeah, I think something has been going about for too long where now you're seeing I have to do something about this because it's not right for me whether that's me just like cutting this person out or whether that's me holding my space until they do something. But this has been wrong or I have been wronged by this person. And I don't know if it's something serious as, you know, uh, cheating or if it's something more of, you know, them not doing enough for you to feel safe and secure within the connection. Let's clarify this justice in reverse here. I'm hearing they lie to you about something. Tell me more. Toil and labor. Okay. I mean, yeah, this is just telling me about the overexertion you've been doing to keep this working and it not being beneficial to you, them not meeting you with the same effort. I wonder, though, if someone said that they couldn't hang out with you because they had work to do which I also kind of picked up in uh, Capricorn's reading, but, um, and then you kind of caught them in that lie. Or like working hours, they're, they can't come over because they have to work later, and then you find out they're hanging out with other people. Distant horizons. 
This could be a long distance connection between the two of you. So you could live, you know, a few hours away, different states, countries, and maybe, you know, someone said they were going to come see you, travel to see you, and then they backed out last minute, or just because they're not planning on moving, maybe because their work is really solidified wherever they lived, and maybe they kind of always gave you that hope that they would move, and then some conversation recently made it apparent to you that they're not looking to change. But this could even be with the distant horizons too, like maybe you felt emotionally distant from this person these last few weeks and you've been trying to kind of understand what's going on with them and they just refuse to open up to you, Cancer. And I think that's where you don't want to like try anymore if they're not willing to put some sort of work in to help you understand. Bottom of the deck, courtship. Yeah, some of you, there's definitely other people involved, or at least they're a flirt, a player, playette type of situation that you found out about. It could have been with a coworker as well. Or on a work trip, something happened, perhaps. So what's challenging this is the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. So, yeah, I think... Some of you guys had to put an end to this to let them know that you're not the person to be a doormat. You're not going to be walked all over. That your kindness and your love only goes so far. And it had to be shut down this way so they could really get it. Because I think the way you were before of trying to be patient, trying to understand, wasn't working. So you had to take these measures for yourself too, Cancer, not just for the connection. And I think this has really hit them a lot harder than what they were prepared for. They realize they messed up big time here. That's without a doubt, Cancer. What's crowning this is the Six of Cups. So this is Scorpio energy. You may have known this person for a very long time. This is someone you went to school with. Have, um, you know, you're from the same town, whether you now live in two different places for some of you guys. Or this has been going on for way too long for something like this to happen. Maybe like for at least six months, you guys have been in some sort of connection here. And I think this is what kind of hurt the most is that you build some sort of trust between the two of you. You kind of, for some of you guys, really didn't see this coming. And maybe they were good at playing, like, you know, the kind person, the giving you a lot of compliments, you know, kind of love bombing in a sense that made you feel really good, that made you feel appreciated, but those words were never matched by the actions. Um, with the Six of Cups, I'm also kind of feeling this sense that there's some sort of inner child wound that is really surfacing from this justice in reverse. I wonder if someone, you or this other person, um, didn't have an easy childhood and may have even had like some sort of neglect or some sort of emotional abuse in a sense. And this has kind of re-sparked those trust issues that always lingered within you in some sort of sense. And I think some of you guys are kind of learning about this wound that is still very prominent within someone here that is surfacing from all this to pay attention to. But I even think if this is this other person, uh, they've learned a lot of coping mechanisms or tendencies that are sabotaging from the need to be loved or the need to feel attention that maybe they had a lack of growing up. I'm kind of getting, um, for a very few amount of you, that this person could be friends with your sibling, okay? And that may have caused a lot of complications. What's reading this is the Three of Swords. Yeah, Libra energy. This has been hard. 
what you found out or what this justice in reverse was for each and every one of you hurt, kind of devastated you. And again, it's like that same wound or that same lesson that you may find yourself repeating for a long time. But if that is your story, Cancer, you, you feel like you've been attracting the same people or you've had the same lessons, like there's something about this time around with judgment that spirit, God, the universe is giving you the realizations, the downloads, so you can awaken from the pattern, so you can awaken from the repetitive trauma bonds that you may have been forming with certain people from this. But yeah, Cancer, I mean, just to let you know, this has affected them very deeply as well. Even if they know they messed up, even if they know they did a lot to sabotage this connection, they're still very hurt by it, they're still very upset, and they're beating themselves up over it. So yeah, for some of you, especially with the Six of Cups crowning and the Three of Swords, there was texting with an ex or texting with someone from the past that was revealed and found out. How they view you though, Cancer, is the Ace of Cups. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I mean, this is the crazy thing about it, Cancer. Like, in their own way, whatever that means for them specifically, they care for you. They tell people that you're the one they love. And it's even hard for them to figure out why they would do this to someone that they love. And again, it could just be from tendencies, behaviors developed from childhood to not fully be aware or trust in consistent, unconditional love and a love that would always last. So maybe they, you know, there's some subconscious type of thing. If I, you know, sabotage this or if I put more eggs than in one basket in different baskets, maybe I'll be safe and I can have options. But Cancer, I do feel the wake-up call that they're experiencing now on their end through this separation or through this breakup or whatever this is between the two of you is that they've always, they care for you and that they love you. And they, they do or are realizing that they owe you an apology. They, you know, tell themselves that you have their heart. And I think that's what everyone is starting to see too, Cancer, from this person with their down moods lately, how much you really did mean a lot to them in some extent, right? Because again, if it was to the highest vibration, this wouldn't happen in the first place. But they're still in love with you, Cancer. I, I do feel that. And again, it could be a lower vibrational type of love for sure but the way they feel and see this situation they still feel like you're the one that they still need in their life or you're the only one that understands them or whatever they kind of tell themselves to keep this feeling for you alive I kind of want to clarify this Ace of Cups Am I missing anything? Privileged lady, number 12. Yeah, I, I, this is giving me like Nine of Pentacles vibe. Uh, you could have Virgo strongly in your chart, but I kind of feel like you had it all, Cancer, really. And that's the thing when we kind of, something comes into our lives that, in an essence or deep down subconsciously, we really don't think we deserve. We don't know how to appreciate it. We don't know how to cherish it. We don't know how to keep it. And that's what this person is really waking up to right now. And I wonder too, I don't know why I'm feeling it this way, but like there could have been like 
an Instagram influencer that this person was hitting up or trying to, you know, flirt with. Maybe like something along those lines I'm kind of feeling. That wasn't really into them like that, but played along in a sense. I'm feeling that very specifically for some of you guys. And then journey at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you guys with this Ace of Cups and Privilege lady with journey here, yeah, for those of you, this is long distance and they made that promise to move. Um, they, with this Privilege lady, they may think you're expecting too much and that, you know, then that's when they told you the truth. I'm not looking to move. I'm not looking to, you know, have any big changes in my life coming forward. And, uh, it's almost kind of like I'm feeling with this, like a broken promise for some of you guys that they're really realizing is affecting them a lot more than they thought it would for whatever reason. All right, Cancer. To see the likely outcome of this situation, what is likely to happen and unfold from now to the end of the month that you need to be aware of, know about, we're gonna go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome. Pull some more tarot oracle cards. Just dive deeper. If you still have questions, let's get those answered now in the extended reading. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where you depart, Cancer, I hope that this reading has at least given you confirmation, clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to whatever is happening in your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Cancer, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Cancer.